Josh, Matty, thank you very much for speaking to us. Josh, if we start with you, what did the gaffer say to you at half time? Yeah, I mean, we knew we were in the game and obviously to concede late in the first half was disappointing. I thought we actually played quite well. Um, so we had to show a bit of belief like we have done in the last few games and luckily I managed to, to get a goal and Matty scored a brace. So yeah, it's a dream second half really. Um, your first goal here, how did that feel? Unbelievable, yeah. Um, especially as I got a little one on the way and to celebrate for my missus as well, it was unbelievable. So, yeah, great feeling and um, hopefully a few more wins to come now. Matty, you were brilliant at the at the back, but up front you made a big difference today. A brace, how was that feeling? Yeah, two. I won't say they were great goals, but uh, every little helps, done it? And to get two goals... To win, especially getting the three points, I think it, it gives us all a boost. Back to back wins now. We've got a massive, massive run in now, and, and all the boys are ready for it. You talk about belief and, and the feeling coming off the pitch, and, and the way you performed in that second half, you, that you boys have got that in barrel folds. Yeah, look, uh, we know how much it means to the fans, to ourselves. We, we, we want it more than anything, and it, it, things haven't gone right this season, but we, we'll try to put it right. and to have seven games left to, to give it everything and we're going to give it everything and hopefully come end of the season we, we get what we want. Ruffs off the pitch, uh, the mood around the place seems to have lifted since that Millwall result. There's been news on and off the pitch that has been good and, and promising for the future. Is that something you boys have felt in the dressing room as well? Yeah, definitely. I think it was quite unfortunate the international break come really. I think we could have had a, a game straight away and kind of kept the momentum a little bit. But no, it's been, it's been good off the pitch and, and it shows the togetherness that second half a 10-20 minute spell and, and we're four goals up so yeah it's incredible we've just got to keep that going now Matty that, the, the flurry of goals is the thing that sort of lifts us where it is isn't it it's not, they didn't come one one after you know there wasn't a big gap between them all they seem to come back to back what's that sort of feeling when you're in it do you, do you kind of sense that it's going to happen for you and you just step it up I think Josh set the tone with that first goal and then once we got our tails up we were, we were away ne next minute it were it, it was um, three nil, so yeah, it, it were it was one of them where I'm absolutely buzzing, looking at the looking at the scoreboard, and it was three three one by before you knew it. You as well, especially you did well to stay on for the second because I think Helic jumping on your back after the first celebrating did his best to try and get you off. I, I thought I'd hurt him, but, um, but no, I, I was buzzing with that, and yeah, just made up. Just the, the fans always play a big role. The, the Borough fans travelled in, in great number and they made a, a huge noise in the, the first half, but we, we quieted them second half and it was, you know, the noise from the town fans towards the end was, was as best as we've had it all year. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, to give them something finally at home and to score the amount of goals we did against a, a great opposition, it's, they, they deserve it for, for all of the hard work this season that finally we've uh, kind of repaid them a little bit. So, no, it's great. And uh, to celebrate like that at the end... We want, want that feeling more and more, so hopefully we can keep that, continue that now. It's a huge run in Matty, like you say, coming up. Um, no easier teams, but we've just beaten two teams back to back now. We're in playoff places. That gives us all the, the knowledge that we need that these games aren't impossible by any means. I think it's irrelevant who we play, to be honest. I think uh, every game's exactly what we need. We need three points from every game, and it, we could be playing top of the league, bottom of the league, mid table teams. Every game's the same focus for us. Excellent. Thank you very much for your time, boys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.